Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leslie. Um, for those of you who don't know, please be sure to click the subscribe button and definitely connect with me on social media. Um, all my links are like in the description box below. So as you can see <laughs> by the title of this video, which is like a very transparent and, and vulnerable title is that I've been going through some things you know and I think it was hard for me to do this video but I know in the past I did a video called it's okay not to be okay and I talked about being more vulnerable and recently I came across a video um, from one of the youtubers that I like that I'm subscribed to her name is Alyssa forever I'll link to her in the description below and she's just been like doing this series where she she vlogs but she also just talks about what's going on in her life and she did a video recently where she was talking about therapy and things she's been uncovering in therapy like she's been so vulnerable and transparent and her videos like it just really resonates with me and I was just like you know I want to be able to confront those things about myself and also maybe if I talk about these things I can help somebody else you know um I've been struggling with being consistent on this channel it's something that I really want to do um I do have I, I do work like I do have a full-time job which actually takes up a lot of my time you know but um I really want to be more consistent with this channel and sometimes though I just don't have the energy emotionally and physically to do videos and I was like you know what if I'm gonna do a video I want to be real like about where I'm at and I, you know and even though I'm an empowerment coach and I'm all about empowering women and girls doesn't mean that I don't have moments that I don't deal with depression that I don't deal with other things I do um, and right now I am I went through a couple months of just back-to-back -back things you know and I had this thing in my head where, where I was like I don't want to be a victim forever so no I'm good like I'm healed <laughs> and like life is reminding me that I'm not healed you know and that I don't necessarily need to rush my healing I guess but like the way that I'm feeling is like honestly like broken Whew. um a couple months ago my grandfather passed away I don't really do good do well with like death at all um and then like literally the same week um the person I was with my boyfriend um, my relationship my boyfriend broke up with me <laughs> so it was the worst timing and then after that you know I was just dealing with a lot of work stuff and like my health like was struggling so my blood pressure like was super high I had to go to urgent care like it was just like you know and I finally will say right now that I feel a lot better than I did three months ago you know and but I will say like my heart like when I think of like like love which is the area I feel like I've struggled with emotionally the most with my whole life because I'm a person who genuinely loves love and I think it's okay to to love love like I said in my other videos like authentic love where you're not like just picking someone to love just to be with them because sometimes you if you love love that much you're just so quick to find it and look for it in every person and I am guilty of doing that and but now I feel like at a place where I love love but I'm not desperate for like you know what I won't even say that like maybe I am a little desperate for love but like authentic love not for like someone because if that was the case I would just date any person that's like trying to talk to me and you know what's crazy like after you know my recent breakup I was like I'm just not gonna date like I'm just not you know like I can't like I just need time to like heal and I never do that I'm always talking to somebody I'm always dating someone it's like it honestly I feel like it's unhealthy um and so I realized it's like that was like a crutch for me that was like hard and so I was like you know I'm not gonna date for a couple months I'm just not gonna date and I didn't do it it was very hard 
like very hard but I, and and on top of that i felt like everybody like people know when you don't want to date like that's when they come out the woodworks like when you're single and your phone is dry ain't nobody around but the moment that you're like i want to be left alone that's when ever, i'm telling you like even when i looked like busted or just dressed down or whatever so let me not say busted but just not the best not the best version of myself um people dudes trying to talk to me left and right and i'm like do i have a sign on my head that says like hey you know come on and talk to me i'm like where was this before like you know but um anyway um i have people you know telling me their feeling like confessing their feelings to me like all these things that i was not ready for emotionally like at all and so recently like super recent i was like you know what i think i'm ready to date and even in just recent events i i feel like i'm different like i feel like now i have this fear this fear that that my heart's gonna get broken that my this fear that i can't be myself without a person like leaving so it's not that i don't like love myself but i'm like people leave this is the mentality i'm having you know people leave people die and so it's like well someone can leave you um you know when they see the good and the bad and you're like well the moment i have an argument with someone they're gonna leave so i'm like sabotaging things before they even really begin because i'm like well i have flaws and once they see the flaw they're gonna be out and i don't want my heart to be broken because of this and i'm like wow like i'm feeling broken and damaged and i didn't want to be that person who gets so hurt that they like create walls and not just walls like vaulted walls like that no one can get into and I'm like over here like I'm healed like I'm healed like I'm good because I don't I don't want to go back to where I was like I don't feel this feeling of oh I want to be back in my last relationship or with anybody else from my past like I don't feel that at all you know like I feel moved like I feel like I have moved on from that you know but I don't feel like I've moved on from the pain like it still bothers me that people can just leave you or they see the real parts of you like they want certain parts of you but they don't want all of you and i didn't want to be that person who got so jaded from like dating all the wrong people or you know being hurt so much like i just i don't want anything to have that much power over me but some but now i notice like i'm doing it and then on top of that i have standards now like you know like real standards but then I'm like, where is the line? At one point back in the day, what standards? I didn't have standards really, you know? Like I tried to have standards but never stuck to them. And then now I have standards and it's like, are your expectations too high though? You know, like some people, it's cool. They have a standard and it's like, you know what? No, like I want someone who communicates and they don't break that. Or it's like, oh, he must be 6'5". And it's like, I don't, I'm not saying that that's what my expectation is, but I do now have these expectations and so like if anyone tries to talk to me and I'm like mm, nope you don't need it because I'm very like I'm not going through this again like I'm not gonna get my heart broken again and I thought I was good I thought I was good until I found myself crying <laughs> realizing that I had fear like intense fear in my heart like holding me back because it was like people leave and I just, I'm big on like, you want to be with someone or, be, or have people in your life who love you as you are because you're, you're flawed. Like you can work on yourself all day, but like you're, you want the person that's going to love you as you are and of course grow with you, but like right now. And when you see a constant spiral, when you see that it keeps happening, you start to question is it me what's wrong with me and there might not be something wrong you know per se with me or whatever like in that way 
and I, and you know I take responsibility for my part in my past relationships you know that didn't work um I definitely do like and I definitely am working on myself like it would be crazy for me to be like it's this person like they're it's all their fault you know I definitely feel like they've done their part for real but I know what I did and I'm growing on it so like this video is not to say that I'm like this terrible person I'm in this terrible place but some days I'm good and some days I am not good like I'm not and so like I decided like I just I want to go to therapy like I've been wanting to go to therapy for a long time but you know I'm Jamaican I grew up in a Caribbean household and people don't go to therapy they're just like pray like you don't need therapy you're fine you're not crazy you're that's for crazy people and I hate the stigma but behind it and you know I, I have a few friends who have who have therapists and they and the way they talk about it, it's like it, it really helps them it helps them to unpack things and I really want to do that and you know I realized even when I was watching Alyssa Forever's video that she was talking about how she likes or she attracts abusive relationships based on what she's used to from her childhood and I was like and you know like based on her experience with her parents people a lot of time people think when you have both parents in the household that it's just perfect but that's not true and I'm not gonna expose my family or nothing like that on my channel because I'm super private and that involves other people but I will say I went through some things and I never really stopped to think like well, how was I raised? Like, what did I experience? And did that, does that have anything to do with the way that I see love and how I attract love? Does that have anything to do with um, my desire to want love so bad? Which, again, I don't think is bad if it's healthy. Like, if you, you want it, you know, you want an authentic love. But I think even then, it's like, I want to be t at a place of just being content. And the truth is like I want love like I'm not gonna lie about that like I'm 30 years old and you know I know we are like oh stop you know you get the pressure and people will tell you don't worry about what people are telling you I'll even say that don't worry about what people are telling you you have time but like then you think I'm 30 and I thought I would have kids already I would be married and not saying that the grass is greener at all not at all but I know like I feel in my like a part of my purpose is to be not just empower women but to also have children and be a wife you know I don't think that that's my entire life like at all no like not at all that'd be crazy but I do feel that way and so like and I want to be young enough to spend time with them and really see them grow so sometimes like I try to tell myself stuff but then like life hits me like I know that God is the mastermind behind time I know time is not the same in his eyes but when you're going through it you can feel it you know and when you live alone because I do live alone I live alone in, and I'm, I live in LA and it's there's like really good things about that like trust me <laughs> I love my privacy and then on the other end you have a lot of time to think so like I felt like you know what maybe it will help me if I go to therapy so that I can deal with loneliness like like how I feel like dealing with those feelings of loneliness why I track the people I do or the people I have because even though I'm getting better and I like curve people I still attract a lot like of like negative things and I always sometimes I even allow it and then I'll like be like no 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 that's not for me and I want to get to the point where I don't even attract that or I don't even allow that type of relationship with like maybe a narcissist or someone who's manipulative or someone who's not ready like just all these things you know and I want to just be at this point of contentment like you know um I don't you know I I want to be able to date healthy like and not be like not put crazy expectations on another person and then not like be scared because I feel like I'm changing like I feel like I have to like hide 
like the real Leslie who's this super loving person but I'm being constantly told in the media and by people like you can't just be so loving towards people you have to guard your heart you have to play hard to get and I'm like I don't want to play hard to get you know like I am a woman of value but like if two people like each other why do they have to play games you know and people are like well that's just what it is you know and I'm like I just want to be myself quite frankly <laughs> and I'm a loving person and I know that God has someone out there for me who will appreciate me and that loving spirit about me and that serving spirit about me and who won't make me feel like, whoa, she's doing too much. Like they will appreciate it. They'll be attentive to my emotions and my feelings and won't make me feel like something is wrong with me because of that. And so like anybody watching this video, like if you feel broken and I know this video is all over the place so I apologize but if you feel broken I just want you to know like you're not alone and that I'm you know you still got to rely on God because even as I cry and I feel this I'm not letting go like oh God like I won't and I think that God is showing me videos like Alyssa Alyssa's video and like certain things to tell me like how I can get through these things you know like I keep repeating lessons and it's like well maybe you need therapy maybe you need to talk about it maybe you need to share that vulnerable vulnerable side of you with the world so you can unpack that and so and like this doesn't have to be your narrative like this I'm not gonna let this be my narrative I'm not gonna let fear decide my future I'm not gonna let fear let me ruin relationships with people a, a loved like a relation love relationship with, or friendships like or family like I'm not gonna let fear like I'm gonna really like try to unpack it and work through it and so can you um so yeah like this was me being really open on my channel um I want to uplift and empower and I also want to be honest and real because I'm not perfect and even though I'm a coach sometimes I gotta coach myself sometimes I gotta like I really gotta take care of me so I can really um, reach someone like the people who come to my channel and my website and I hope that this video helped at least one person and you know I just don't want you to feel like oh there's a stigma like I shouldn't go to therapy like if you have the means and I know that you, people don't always have the means and you know I would definitely like look for cheaper options for a therapy or like even free hotlines or anything like that for me the other reason why I've been thinking about therapy is because my job actually provides um, coverage for that I realized that and I think it's time I take advantage of it I think you have to pay a copay or something and I'm just kind of like I'm gonna take advantage I haven't always had that ability um, and I think the time is now I think I was kind of like I want to do it but I'm scared to do it because I'm such a private person but I think like I want to like I want to be healed like I really want to break free from certain things I don't want to like keep repeating lessons so yeah <laughs> you're not alone at all if you want to connect with me feel free to email me at leslie at self love empowers .com or just you know hit me up on social media you know at self love empowers on everything so thanks for checking out my channel don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching bye guys